Let's look at the Tennessee Titans' top plays from their loss against the Green Bay Packers. It's time for a Week 3 Tic Tac 4-pack on today's film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans. Titans fans, welcome to another film breakdown from Tic Tac Titans, your home for Tennessee Titans X's and O's. I am your host, Tyler Rowland, 25 years as a Tennessee Titans fanatic. I've covered the team for USA Today, Sports Illustrated, and I've been the host of the number one Tennessee Titans podcast, Locked on Titans, for six years. I'm also a certified film junkie, breaking down the X's and O's with you guys for free all year long. On today's film breakdown, it's time for a week three Tic Tac four pack. Going to look at the top four plays from the Tennessee Titans game against the Green Bay Packers. Another tough loss for the Titans, but still some good stuff in there nonetheless. So with that being said, do want to remind you guys, make sure that you get subscribed, stay subscribed for year-round free Tennessee Titans film content. Throw a thumbs up on the video, throw a Titan up down in the chat. And now, as we always do, let's step into the film room. First play of our Tic Tac 4-pack from Week 3. It's a touchdown for the Tennessee Titans. The Titans come out in a personnel grouping that you do not see often. They are in 14 personnel. So you have one running back right here. Then you have Josh Wiley as a tight end. Daniel Brunskill as an extra tight end. Nick Vanette as a tight end. And Chicka Conquo as a fullback. But he's a tight end as well. So 14 personnel. You do not see that very often. What the Titans are going to do is they're just going to run a simulated run play on the goal line. You want to fake this to Tony Pollard. Then you're going to have Nick Vanette who catches the pass. Come on a quick route right here. You're going to have Chigaconquo go out into the flat. And then on the backside, you're going to have Josh Wiley come in like this. And this is a good throw from Will Levis. It's not quite as open as you would think. But uh, he gets the job done and gets it in there. And gets it to Nick Vanette for a touchdown. See, 58 is a little too close for my comfort. But what I want to point out here is, is how this simulated run play action fake right there brings in number 58 and influences him. So he's going to see Chickaconquo come this way like he's a lead blocker and then see Tony Pollard jump this way like he's going to, you know, get the ball on the run. And that's going to bring number 58, who you can see right here. Watch him jump forward right here, and it gives Will Levis the space to get this into Nick Vanette. Touchdown Titans. Play number two from the Tic Tac 4 pack. It's another touchdown for the Titans. And I really like the pre-snap recognition from Will Levis here. So you have the Titans here in a trips bunch down at the bottom of the screen, which leaves DeAndre Hopkins over here isolated one-on-one. -on -one. And honestly, in these circumstances, I am perfectly fine with Will Levis taking this opportunity. If you have DeAndre Hopkins in single coverage, you got to do it. And this safety right here for the Packers is over here in the middle of the hashes. So you got a lot of room up here with DeAndre Hopkins by himself. Now, I got to tell you, there isn't a lot of technical film stuff to break down here. This is just a quarterback trusting his wide receiver and throwing it up for him to make a play. And boy, does Hopkins ever. But Hopkins has made a Hall of Fame career on plays exactly like this. We get it from the end zone angle here. Will Levis takes it. No time to... Worry about it. Throw it up. Great play by Hopkins to play with physicality. Get through two of those guys for a touchdown. The Titans got three sacks on Malik Willis in this game. And honestly, the defensive performance wasn't good enough. But they still did get some pressure on Malik Willis in certain instances. See a, a play action fake looking for a shot play for the Packers. Nobody's there. And then Kenneth Murray gets in. To make the stop, let's go back and look at it a little bit more. So, the Titans are in man coverage here. You got man coverage here. Jamal Adams has man coverage here. Ernest Jones, man coverage on the running back. Man coverage here. And then you're going to have zone defender right here. And then, I believe that Kenneth Murray actually has man coverage on this tight end. But the tight end stays in to block. And Kenneth Murray does a really smart thing here when he sees the tight end blocking. So, you can see... This tight end, which is Kenneth Murray's man responsibility, stays in the block. So Murray, who doesn't have a responsibility at this time, just keeps eyes on the quarterback here, okay? He's just got his eyes on the quarterback. And what ends up happening is Murray says, all right, I know this is a pass. It's time to trigger. My guy's staying in. And he triggers in, gets around a lineman, 
Malik starts to dance, but Murray's a good athlete, and he ends up bringing him down. So that's just good instincts by Kenneth Murray. Now, I didn't think Kenneth Murray had a fantastic performance in this game, quite honestly, but he did make a few plays. He ended up with two sacks in this one. See, he looks, looks, trigger. Slides through, makes the sack. This is third down in the red zone for our final play of the Tic Tac four pack. This is a four point saving play from the Titans defense. Malik Willis is looking for anybody to be open. There's really nobody there. He starts to scramble as he's wont to do. And the Titans find a way to make the play. Now, I want to break this down a little bit more for what the Titans are running here. The Titans are in a red zone cover too. So it's a little different because it's the red zone. You're not going to get as deep. You're not going to drop as far into your zones. But you have deep half here, deep half here. JBJ guarding the flat. Sneed guarding the flat. Then you're going to have hook defenders over the middle. So Roger McCreary. Ernest Jones, Kenneth Murray, all sitting there over the middle of the field. All right, so as the tape goes, you can see, and I want to point out Kenneth Murray once again. Again, I didn't think it was a great game for Kenneth Murray, but he does a good job here because this wide receiver is going to come and sit down, and Kenneth Murray does a great job of shooting to him to take him away because that's what Malik Willis is looking for. This is a two-read look for Malik Willis. Either you hit the flat out here or you hit the sit down right here. Well, the flat is taken away by LeJarrius Sneed because the Titans are in cover two and he's playing hard flat. And then Kenneth Murray does a good job of taking this away. And when that happens, that's when Malik Willis is like, oh, I got to scramble. See, Murray jumps to it. Good job by Kenneth Murray. Now, if you look over here, nobody right there. Two guys right here watching this guy. There, there's no one there. All right. And this is when the effort from the defensive line kicks in. So Jeffrey Simmons has not had a fantastic start to the year. Nobody really has for the Titans, if we're being honest. But Simmons plays with great effort here. I mean, he's got a bunch of guys right here that he's around. But Simmons continues to work, and he gets off the blocker, and you can see him right here. And good job right here by Harold Landry to keep contain on Malik Willis. You cannot let Malik Willis to the outside. The Titans did that too many times, but they do a good job here of not allowing that to happen. Force the runner back into your help. And Jeffrey Simmons playing with great effort gets off the block and comes here to Malik, uh, meet Malik Willis, and Jeffrey Simmons gets the sack, holds the Packers to a field goal. It's a four-point saving play. Titans fans, I hope you guys enjoyed this week three tic-tac four-pack. I know it's another tough loss for the Titans, but again, there are some silver linings here. I talked about those on Monday's episode of Locked on Titans, so make sure that you go check that out. On tomorrow's show, I am going to have a breakdown on all eight of the Tennessee Titans sacks that they allowed against the Packers. Then on Wednesday, we're going to look at the fantastic performance of J.C. Latham, who continues to play very well. And then Thursday, I'll have a breakdown on DeAndre Hopkins' performance as he had his best game of the season. So a lot of content coming your way. Make sure you get subscribed, stay subscribed, throw a thumbs up on the video, throw a Titan up down in the chat. Got a link down below in the description for some Tic Tac Titans merchandise. If you would like to get some of that, definitely supports the channel. But with that being said, I am your host, Tyler Rowland, and as I always tell you, tighten up.